Hello friends, here in this video we will see a problem on section of a cone. Here is the question. A cone diameter of base 70 mm and axis 60 mm long is resting on its base on the ground. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP such that the true shape of the section is an isosceles triangle of height 65 mm. Draw the front view, sectional top view, sectional side view and true shape of the section. Also measure the base of the triangle and angle made by the cutting plane to HP. So this is the question in front of us. Whatever conditions are given in this question, I will explain that step by step. First by reading it, we understood that the type of solid is a cone. So here I will draw the diagram of a cone. So here we have a cone in which there is a circular base next here we have the slant edges of the cone connected to a common vertex called as apex then at the center here we have an axis of the cone now reading the question here it is given that a cone diameter of base 70 mm and axis 60 mm long is resting on its base on the ground so when it is resting on the ground ground means HP so here we can assume that this cone is resting in HP then the condition is it is cut by a section plane whatever the conditions are there of the section plane that I will explain in the problem but first when the cone is kept in HP in that case when we will be looking that cone from the front we are going to see the triangle but when we are looking from top we are going to see the circular base so in this case the circle of the cone will be visible in HP that is in the top view because the cone is kept in HP. So let us get started with this initial condition. Here we have XY line. VPHP. Now, as we read the problem, here what are the things which we have to draw? Draw the front view, sectional top view, sectional side view, and toe shape of the section. So, if the problem is in such a way that we have to draw the side view as well as the toe shape of the section, so we are going to plot the top view exactly in the middle, and again the front view will be in the middle. Drawing a light vertical line. Measuring 70 mm and taking the center at 35. Drawing a light horizontal line. Then measuring this distance in the compass. Drawing a light circle. So this is the top view of the cone. Now getting the front view for it. And here I'll give the notations. This point is one dash. Here we have three dash. 
this is 2 dash 4 dash and here there is apex the height of the cone is axis is 60 mm long so measuring 60 mm So this is the front view of the cone. I'll keep it light because until and unless we don't know the location of the section plane, we cannot make this dark. Now, after drawing the initial condition, it is said that it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Inclination with HP will be visible in VP such that the true shape of the section is an isosceles triangle of height 65 mm so here the true shape of the section is given and the height of the isosceles triangle in the true shape is 65 mm so by using this condition we can get what kind of a section it will be at the same time we are going to plot the sectional top view so for that we need to first get the true shape of the section and for that here I'll be explaining the method so now I'll start with the true shape such that the true shape of the section is an isosceles triangle of height 65 mm so for that I'll be projecting a light line now over this line I am going to measure a height of 65 mm as given in the problem of the isosceles triangle. So this will be the height of the isosceles triangle 65 mm but here we don't have the base of the isosceles triangle. So once we have this length that is the height of the isosceles triangle in the true shape of the section then we can say that that true length will be nothing but the length of the cutting plane because when we are taking the true shape in that case we have to have the true length of the cutting plane and that cutting plane will give us the true shape of the section so here if we see in this cone in order to get a triangle that is if we want to get a triangle in case of a cone then in that case the cone needs to be cut in such a way that at least one part of the cutting plane should pass through the apex that is point O so here I will explain how that section is going to look like So now here I have explained that if we want a triangle in a cone then the cutting plane should pass through the apex then only we are going to get a single point otherwise if the cutting plane is shifting from the apex at any other location then we are not going to get a triangle that is a single point but instead of that we are going to get a curve so to avoid that at least one part of the cutting plane should pass through this apex so now by understanding this condition i can say that here we are getting the length of that cutting plane i'll project it projecting it light Now this line which I have drawn that indicates the length of the cutting plane. I will make it dark.
so this is the cutting plane and next we need to pass the cutting plane through the apex then there is one more condition that the cutting plane should cut the base in order to get a triangle because when it is cutting the base we are going to get the two points but if it is cutting somewhere above the base onto the slant edge for example then we are going to again get a curve so here the condition should be in order to get a triangle in case of a cone in that case one part of the cutting plane or one point of the cutting plane should pass through the apex and the other part that is the length of the cutting plane should cut the base then only we are going to get a triangle so here if we see it is clear that point o dash will be the reference point and i am going to measure a distance of this cutting plane that is the length of the cutting plane which is equal to 65 mm given now keeping at o dash i am going to cut the base now when i have cut this base here there is a point now this from this i am going to draw a light line connecting the apex then this light line is nothing but the length of the cutting plane and here the viewing direction will be like this and the name of the cutting plane is a a dash so if we see here then here we are getting the length of the cutting plane and this cutting plane is passing through this location in the front view next we have to see which part is to be retained and which part has to be removed so if the cutting plane is part passing in this order whatever part is there on the right hand side of the cutting plane should be removed and whatever is there on the left hand side that should be retained so making that portion dark here i am using the red ink to to show the dark lines so this much is the part of the cone which is retained here we have the excess of that cone then next by looking from top we can project its top view one point of the triangle is at the apex the other points are cutting at the base so i'll give the notations there i'll say that it is a dash comma b dash so projecting them light now where it is cutting 2 to 3 that point is here i'll call it as a where it is cutting 3 to 4 an arc i'll call it as b so these are the two points of the triangle which will denote the base of the triangle so now after getting the base edge which is ab i'll connect point a to the apex o point b it is also connected to apex o now this is the triangle which we have and again whatever is there on the right hand side of this triangle like b 3a that will be removed so whatever is there onto the left hand side that is retained so retaining this much path next making the triangle dark
drawing the center lines now this is the triangle in that i have to draw the section lines and as we know the section lines will be inclined at 45 degree so marking that point so this is a sectional top view and now after getting this base length i can project it into the true shape and draw the true shape of the section as well so here we have o dash these are the points a dash b dash so point o and o dash where they intersect that will give us point o for a and b projecting point a and b now where a and a dash intersect that is point a where b and b dash intersect that is point b so joining them will give us the true shape of the section o to a connected a to b connected then o to b connected then drawing the sectioning lines through it so here we have the true shape of a section so this is the true shape of the section and here the height is 65 mm it is 65 mm long given in the problem a a dash is the cutting plane now here we are getting the base edge also in the question it was mentioned draw the front view we have completed the front view sectional top view and sectional side view now we have to draw the sectional side view and for that we would be looking this object that is the cut cone from the right hand side and drawing it onto the left hand side by using first angle method of projection it means we need to draw the side view in this portion so for that i'll select a point measuring an angle of 45 degree then drawing a light line through it so now here i'll be projecting this cone in for the side view and for that purpose i'll measure a horizontal line pass it through o dash which is the apex in the front view marking the points in the side view here we have point 4 so that will be 4 double dash 
0.2 this will be 2 double dash then 1 and 3 so 1 double dash 3 double dash and here is the apex O double dash so drawing light lines through these corners connecting it to the apex that will give me the slant edge of this cone next I need to project points of this triangle which is visible in the top view so point O is already there A and B needs to be projected to get the cut section in the side view so point A will be projected up and it is on this arc 2 to 3 so here we have 2 double dash 3 double dash over that we have a point A double dash then point B and B is on this arc 3 to 4 so 3 double dash 4 double dash here we have B double dash then joining it with the help of light line A double dash connected to O double dash and O double dash to B double dash then making it dark B to 4 is connected so B double dash 4 double dash will be dark similarly 2 to A is connected so that will also be dark so making it dark connecting O double dash to 4 double dash Similarly, O double dash to 2 double dash. O double dash to B double dash is connected. O double dash to A double dash connected. Next, after getting this triangle in the side view, we have to draw the sectioning lines over that, and for that, I'll take an angle of 45 degree drawing, drawing the sectioning lines So this is the sectional side view then giving the dimensions here the circular base is having a diameter of 70 mm then the height of the axis is 60 mm and here in the question it is mentioned that draw the front view we have completed the front view sectional top view that is also done sectional side view completed and true shape of the section it is done also measure the base of the triangle now I will be measuring this base it comes out to be 43 mm so I'll write down this statement the base of the triangle is 43 mm 
and then it is mentioned an angle made by the cutting plane to HP. So angle made by the cutting plane to HP is seen in VP. So the second point will be angle made by cutting plane with HP is equal to measuring this angle it comes out to be 67 degree and with this we complete the problem